मैं समीरा ममता सिस्टर ने बल्ली पे भेजा है पापा जब मासी की बेबी आएगा पापा कहा है आपके कहा गए इसके पापा को Welcome to the Queen. Thank you for doing Thank this. You. My first question is to you that when you know the intention of a film is to scare people, creep people out, are there influences, films that you look for, specific things that you do in your writing? You don't need to look for them because you are your influences. Whether mm. it's film, whether it's some person, whether it's some visual, whether it's a city. So what I try personally is actually try and not think too much about what I'm being influenced by. and just go with the core impulse he said something in another interview that you need to know you need to figure it out mm. and before you figure out what scares other people you need to figure out what scares you i was thinking and i think what scares me most is uh, not being there and there are other fears also imagine if there was a society where i could sell you or buy you make you into a nice ham sandwich mm. that's another fear so it's a combination of two three different fears and what happens <clears throat> don't be afraid you will not make a good ham sandwich <laughs> yeah i know right you have to do something else. deep fry you or something yeah <laughs> need a lot of like mass for it uh, but yeah i mean tempura 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 tempura, tempura. tempura. <laughs> so i mean for the two of you can you like gauge if it's scaring people or is that is there a way to do that i wasn't thinking about scaring anybody when i was doing this and i had almost forgotten that we are doing something which is meant to scare people why so like why i, I don't mean? know i think i was just focusing on what i had to get done it was raining the weather was not conducive uh, we were losing time i was profusely sweating and so was he but then i was sweating like few liters more than him <laughs> So there was no time to think and it's also I wouldn't say that I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, I didn't because like your brain stops working after a while. Like it becomes less creative and more technical. But then when I look back and then see all the things that I have there is a sense of achievement definitely from a very personal point of view that I could do this. Probably the biggest curse that an actor can have is the script. Hmm. Because most of us who are in reality don't know what's going to happen the next moment. Yeah. We don't know the script of our life. Hmm. an actor does but the better actors and actors like gulshan and sukant they probably are in the moment and they have figured out a skill a very necessary skill of erasing everything else outside of the moment because yeah. as characters in that story they are not supposed to know what's about to happen, happen. No. but you keep the information away like deliberately no, do you no, do no that? it's not possible yeah, because okay. it's uh, um, unfortunately filmmaking is a logistical exercise based over money hmm. yeah. so it's some amount of future planning has to be there and they have to know what's happening but beyond a point they don't know man and but is what happened before is relevant <laughs> after the third day yeah. they stopped worrying they stopped even wondering what's about to happen yeah. like what's next that's the first question and the next question is when do we wrap <laughs> so i was just going to ask what a day on set was like but our do us i guess most i just wanted to go yeah. back to my hotel that was one word too yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just you, wanted to sleep. <laughs> you've also said this before that you know, like so much of filmmaking is actually so hard, and you're like in difficult conditions pretty much all the time, and then you have to perform your best. I have a short aphorism for this. A short. Mouth me bad breath, pet me purani potty. Chalo cinema. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> So, so, so. No, I like into the abyss better. <laughs> ah. So it's not even potty; ah. it's old, stale potty from yesterday, which you haven't had time to negotiate ah. with. Yesterday, and uh, so that's sort of you know the experience of all the people who actually work on making the film, hmm. who are part of the crew. Hmm. So you find this <clears throat> medium like freeing for you? No, you? I mean the OTT space is that OTT space? Yes, definitely to some extent. in the indian context uh, marginal filmmakers like us have a better chance of sort of you know showing what they have to show but like everything else the ott platform is too much of a good thing and therefore there's much more of a crowd mm. and therefore you have to fight out of that crowd and therefore you come back to the same problem again mm. how you can shout out and cut through mm. the ott platform uh, which takes away the load of immediate box of his returns and transfers the onus of the filmmaker to making the platform more attractive for the audience mm. to some extent releases the filmmaker uh, uh into channeling himself more into the film rather than thinking about what the people would like to see right. so that's a that's a that's a good plus and there's longevity <clears throat> like you you'll watch it whenever whenever right? i don't know about that just the fact that it's there is probably not a guarantee of longevity because it could be there and it could be not seen for the next 20 years so it doesn't matter because there's so much there's so much and you're on a shelf 
So that's and if you don't renew your subscription, then <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, but you know your film, like say Marco Dani Hoda, has been seen on Netflix so much more, and you're doing this, you're doing an Amazon series. Do you find that your opportunities for you are better in this space? I still love doing f- film. But more opportunities of the kind that you would like to do, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if it's the kind that I'd like to do, but definitely more opportunities. You get an opportunity to work with stellar directors like uh, Divakar Banerjee here. For so, today. For today. As <laughs> of now, <laughs> maybe later this afternoon that might change. Hmm. If you're really well established, uh, like Ayushman Khurana, he doesn't need to do an OTT platform. He's very established in film. He'll only do feature films and people will... Go to the cinema halls and watch him or Karthik Aryan. But does it have to be one to the other? Like no, not really. I'm just giving you an example. Right. An example. Okay. Because I come from a time where I fantasized being in films, that still is more important to me. Right. Okay. It definitely is my fantasy, and I'm fixating on it a little too much. That bachpan ka pyar bolte na to. You love cinema. You love cinema. You want to be a do only cinema. Given the choice, I would do only cinema. Yeah, I think there are more opportunities. As a fact, uh, I see a lot of. my colleagues from the theater suddenly getting a lot of work you know being able to pay bills a little better uh rather than stand in long endless queues of auditions at times there is more work opportunity now that can't be a bad thing so thank you for speaking with us and all the best for ghost stories thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, you.